So, the RTX 4070 has launched last week for $599 and it looks like it's still in stock. Bruh. Yeah, but you know what is cool? A gaming PC for the price of the RTX 4070. Yes boys, a gaming PC for $599. Now that's more like it. And we're talking about the complete package here, which means a modern CPU, a graphics card that's capable of high frames, 1TB of storage, 16GB of memory, and let's throw in some ARGB in it as well. And as always boys, we'll be sticking with the same build criteria with all our previous build guides, which means all parts must be brand new, there must be no used parts, and all parts must be available at the time of recording. And for those who are new to the channel, we're basing everything off Amazon US but for everyone else who lives outside the region please feel free to use this as guide and like before if you have any questions just pop it down in the comment section we do read them if we get the YouTube notifications okay let's go all right let's get started with our CPU and what we're gunning for is the Intel 12100F yes boys this one's probably the best low-end CPU for this generation. It only has 4 cores and 8 threads but how this one performs is actually amazing. It comes with its own cooler so we don't need to spend extra on an aftermarket cooler and the best part is that this one's currently on sale and is priced at $100. Well under $100. We've looked at the CPU before and the performance is actually pretty decent for competitive games that we play and for single player titles this will be just fine so just bag this one. Moving into the motherboard we're going to keep this sweet and simple and what we've selected here is the MSI Pro H16M-G DDR4 motherboard. This one's pretty cheap boys priced at 89 bucks. Now this one's pretty basic it doesn't come with any fancy heat sinks but hey that's why we're using the stock cooler because that cooler will push the air down and will help cool our VRMs. I mean our CPU is not that power hungry. So the VRM this motherboard does come with an 8 plus 1 plus 1 phase design so it's still pretty decent for a budget board. And hey we've got the PCIe 4.0 slot in here for our GPU and it even comes with that metal reinforcements we have an nvme slot in here dual channel ram slots and we can even run xmp profiles on this one and it even comes with our rgb port so we can stick argb in here not bad for a budget board right for our system memory this is going to be likewise really sweet and simple we're going for the silicon power ddr4 ram 16 gb 3200 megahertz nothing fancy in here just good standard kits for 30 bucks so yeah this one's definitely good value 30 bucks no questions let's get this one for our storage this time around we've opted to actually go for one terabyte storage i mean mvmes are getting really cheap nowadays boys and what we've selected for our rig is the silicon power one terabyte gen 3 nvme this one just comes with read speeds of up to 2200 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 1600 megabytes per second but it's not bad it's definitely not the fastest but hey for our gaming use case this will be just fine and this one boys would only set us back 43 bucks i mean 43 bucks for one terabyte of nvme space that's actually a good deal right there before we carry on, if you guys watching this video is interested in building a PC over the next few months, we do these build guides on different price points every month. So hit that subscribe button if you want to be up to speed with the best value PC specs. We do all the research for you so you wouldn't need to spend more time researching or googling. Anyway, let's go back to now i know the first few parts for this rig seem like nothing spectacular but that's fine we're cutting some dollars off on those parts where you could actually afford a decent graphics card and what we've selected for our gpu is the most bang for the buck budget gpu from amd and what we've selected is the power color fighter rx 6600 non-xt for 
$220. Yes, boys, we managed to squeeze this modern GPU on this build, the RX 6600 non-XT, as you know, is one of our favorite cards in this channel. We've tested this multiple times and it excels in 1080p gaming. Competitive gaming performance is okay. Streaming performance is also pretty decent. This one's definitely the best budget GPU. This specific model comes in black design. I mean, it doesn't have a backplate, but that's okay. I mean, if that bothers you, you could always go for a slightly premium model like this one here. But boys, we're on a budget here and we want the best value. And this card comes with 8GB of GDDR6 and has access to AMD's modern features. It may only come with two fan, but that's totally fine. The RX 6600 non-XT is actually not a really hot card, so we'll be fine, alright? For our power supply, we're going to stick with our reliable budget power supply and that's the Intermax Cyberbron 500 watts power supply. This one's pretty decent for its price. At 40 bucks, boys, you get this black finish power supply with flat cables, 80 plus bronze efficiency, 5 year warranty. Sure, it's not a modular design, but hey, we'll just hide the cables on our case and it's pretty cheap, right? So just get this one. And speaking of our case, we've actually selected something decent in here. And what we pick is the Bit Phoenix Nova Mesh SETG ARGB Edition. This one's a high airflow design, comes with a mesh front, standard tempered glass side panel, and a power supply shroud. And the best part is that it comes with four ARGB fans. That's four addressable RGB fans, boys. So that will definitely help with our airflow, and it actually looks pretty decent and this one's currently on sale and is only priced at $69 so this one's definitely amazing value just add this one into your card all right overall we have a pretty decent rig here boys definitely not an RTX 4070 but hey you, you get the whole package for the price of an RTX 4070 we have our modern processor here the 12100F an MSI H16 motherboard, 16 gigabyte of dual channel RAM, one terabyte of NVMe storage, the RX 6600 non-XT, our NMX power supply, and a decent bit Phoenix case with ARGB fans. This totals to $595.83. Now that's actually not bad. Decent 1080p gaming performance. It costs less than the RTX 4070 and definitely a good budget rig which provides a lot of value. On our next video, we'll be looking at probably a gaming PC that will be around a thousand dollar mark. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel boys. And likewise, if you've got any questions on this rig, feel free to put it down in the comment section down below and we'll see you guys on the next video.